Greg says, hi, I really appreciate your videos you made on simple and complex silos. I've watched both videos three times now. Well, good for you, Greg. Um, that's, I know they can be a bit overwhelming, um, so I'm glad to see you're going through them. I had one question regarding the categories in the sidebar. After making the top pages to be the categories, you made one statement regarding the categories in the sidebar still leaking out juice from the silo. Then something like, I'd remove them from... Uh, I'd remove them from the sidebar. What is the best option after creating a simple silo to avoid or minimize the category leak? Just leave option one. Just leave the five categories, which would be pages, in the sidebar bar and tolerate a small amount of silo leakage. Uh, remove the category listing widgets out of the sidebar, or use the simple silo plugin from Network Empire. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're using a silo plugin, uh, Network Empire, th their simple silo plugin is fine. There, also, there's the Ultimate SEO uh, plugin, which will do that. As well, um, that that plugin is a great plugin. Uh, if you want, you can do some silo structure with that. They, essentially, they're called silo menus, and and you you would insert the silo menu in, in the sidebar instead of a traditional menu, because the silo menus will only show uh, the category in which you're you're viewing in the sidebar and any of its supporting articles, so that there is no leakage from it. I can tell you right now, Greg. A little bit of leakage from having the categories menu in the right sidebar or or a sidebar period isn't going to be that much of a big of an issue. Like for the most part, I don't care about that because remember, there's there's a it depends on you know first of all what your competition levels are, how competitive an industry are you in. But you also have to remember the difference between the SEO value of something and the user, the value for the user, the end user. And if if having a silo specific menu is going to restrict or prohibit the user from being able to find content on the site you more easily then in my opinion that little bit of SEO boost that you get from not bleeding the silos isn't worth that trade-off it's not worth the benefit you know what I mean like it's not worth making it more difficult on the user to navigate your site so you have to really decide on whether you want the SEO value the the additional SEO power or whatever um, the SEO benefit, I should say, from having this the silo specific menus, or if you want to be able to have the user have a better experience, if to be able to navigate the site, you have to determine that. I can't determine that for you, but there are several plugins that will do that. Personally, I don't care unless I'm like really in a dogfight for for SEO, like trying to rank something or outrank a competitor. I personally don't care about the silo menu being a bit or the. Um, the categories menu being available, or either in the sidebar or just in the header, or excuse me, that the main navigation bar, right? As long as the category menus are in the top nav navigation bar somewhere, they don't even need to be in the sidebar, really, unless you're just trying to show the hierarchy of your content and categories, in which case, yeah, I'd just use a silo, base, a silo plugin that will handle that for me, okay? Um, but honestly, unless you're in a really competitive industry, leaving like just a normal categories menu in the right sidebar is not going to leak that much because there's not there's not as much leak through like a sidebar menu or a navigation menu as there would be like contextual links from within the content. That's where you got to be real strict about internal linking between si you know uh, only within its own silo and that kind of thing. The the worst thing you can do for a silo is to do a contextual link from one silo to another with a do follow link because that's really bleeds the theme. The navigation style um, links aren't as bad. You know what I mean? Like the navigation menu links or the sidebar links, they're not as bad. They don't leak as much. 